Hello and welcome to another video on my channel, KJ Collectibles. Uh, again, my name is Kirk. This time I'm going to take a look at a uh, PSA unboxing. This is uh, 52 cards that I sent off to PSA um, in November. Uh, 52 cards, a lot of them rookies from last year. I don't know if I switched it up. I have a list somewhere, but uh, this package came in the mail two days ago and I have not opened it. I use a guy named Frank uh, on Facebook um, to sub with PSA, he sends in bulk subscriptions. I've had a lot of luck with him, so I use him. He tells me when things are in. He does not uh, tell me the grades. I ask for him to keep that to himself because I like to kind of be surprised and do videos to kind of show me getting things um, kind of spur of the moment. Uh, one thing is I won't know pricing on anything because I don't know what things are going to grade out and um, kind of just wanted the surprise of it all. Uh, again, look below. Uh, when this video posts, you'll see a link to my Facebook and eBay pages um, for anything there. 52 cards uh, took go just over six months. My guess is our stuff was about to ship right before PSA shut down uh, a month or so ago. And I uh, got it back at the end of May. So uh, without further ado, I'll kind of get into it. I honestly have no idea the grades of these cards, which is kind of cool. Um, I always like to do something that way. Let's see if this is the front and this is the back. So, we'll take a look. Oh, apparently I did do something other than just rookies. Uh, the first card we'll look at is a 1993 SP Marshall Falk rookie. This I don't really remember. So I got a, a Mint 9. Sorry, I'm trying to get the light nut on there. It's a good looking card. I was hoping for a 10, obviously. Um, didn't really have a frame of reference to see about uh, centering on this. So I kind of went with it. A 9 is much better than an 8, so I'm happy. So that's a pretty sweet card. I have a couple of these. I'll put some back here while we go through. So some basketball. R.J. Barrett, Draft Picks Prism, probably color. Oh, wow, red Prism, Mint 9. I guess there is some right to left. Apparently I missed that. There's some centering issues right to left. Oh. And Zion. Prism, I think this might also be a colored version. Blue, Gem Mint 10. That is sweet. Blue are out of retail. They are the um, blaster box only. Just recently sold about 10 blasters that I held on this. I went through and I bought a lot of Prism last year, but I brought, bought the draft picks because that's what I found in bulk and opened a lot realized the value wasn't there so I tried to hold and hope so that's the first PSA 10 out of the group which is nice John Morant Prism let's see Mint 8 yikes I'll probably have to just break that out that doesn't make sense to keep it in there Hmm, and this is actually my first contemporary card to come back and eat. So I did a piss poor job on this one. I cleaned everything. I'm really extensive with my cards. And if I see even a minor surface scratch, I tend to stay away from it. So um, we'll see. We're getting into some more uh, contemporary cards. Baseball. Ronald Acuna, this is like the Bowman cards. Let's take a look. From the Mega Refractors from 2018, Bowman Chrome Mega. It's an insert that's PSA 10. That's awesome. I'm very happy with that. Did really good with some 2018 Tops update and Chrome update of his, and I might actually send in another one. So, okay, we'll move the Marshall Falk and put the two big, the first two PSA 10s. 
not bad when you have Zion and Ronald Acuna. Hopefully that continues with a lot more. So Pete Alonzo. Gem in 10 from 2018 Bowman Chrome. That's nice. I had a bunch of the 2016 Bowman Chrome of his, but nothing that would have gemmed. So that's nice. And this is a weird one. I don't know why I chose this card. Um, Tyler Glass now. If you can see, it's out of 99, so I guess that's green. This is Topps Fire. I don't know. I think I just wanted to take a look, and I see a little corner ding on the bottom, so I don't think this will be a 10. Yeah, it's a 9. So it's purple. Nice looking card. Glass now, I think, is good. Um, but I just want to take a flyer on that. So, Tops Update. 2018, I believe this is Chrome Update. Juan Soto Pink Refractor, Gem Mint 10. That is a sweet looking card. I know it's not, it's the rookie debut, so it's not, um, it's not the extremely high dollar one, but a Gem Mint 10 from one of the top players in the league. Saw it after set, rookie year. That's sick, I like that. So I'll put that up here. I'll just trade them out as they go for some of the big names. So Shohei Otani, pink, Gem Mint 10. Very nice, that is the rookie. That is not his rookie, de his debut. So it's a straight up rookie, which is nice. And then I don't know this one. Apparently I found some more 2018. So this is the Holiday Mega. Ooh, Mint 9. So it had some Holiday from 2018 from Acuna. Mint 9. Another one. Gem Mint 10. Okay. So missed on one, hit on another. I know this card's been mistaken sometimes for the Bat Down variation uh, from Top Series 2. Snowflake's dead giveaway. But similar poses as he's watching a ball launch. So another 10. So now some 2019. The rest might be 19. We have uh, Tatis Jr. from Update. Gem Mint 10. This is the 150th anniversary down at the bottom. So this is the parallel. I have a lot of Tatis that I've been holding on to. A couple high-end autographs, a black. So I have a lot invested in him. Hopefully he pans out. So this is Pete Alonzo out of 99. Gem Mint 10 from Purple. Top's Fire, I really like the cards. I didn't like them at first, but uh, you really can't go wrong. The design designs are cool, different. A lot like the um, new Project Tops 2020 or whatever. Uh, I haven't bought anything there, but the cool, the, the cards started to grow on me. So Eloy Jimenez, another rookie. I believe this is a refractor. Not, it's hard to tell with the black border there, but it is a refractor from Chrome. There you go, this is the X-Fractor from regular Topps Chrome. That's a sexy looking card too. I haven't always, I wasn't a fan of graded cards at the beginning, but it just seemed, something about them being in, in here, I'm a big fan of now. So, a bunch of tens, some nines, I'm gonna try to keep them separate so I kind of know what's going on how well or how poorly I've done unfortunately so right now we're one box in and we are two more tens than nines or eights so it's a it's a start we'll go to this box and if anyone is interested in doing something like this um, I like to use uh, Frank 
I can give information as necessary if people are interested. Um, I clean all my own cards. Use a microfiber cloth to do it. And I really go through. And if there's even a small imperfection, I, uh, I don't want to send it. I don't want to run the risk. I also do an extensive research to see for a lot of it, maybe not all the rookies, but to see if grading exists. If I grade it and it comes back at 10, is there a good return? With Jimenez and Alonzo and um, you know, a lot of the rookies, I'm kind of taking a chance, Tatis, and just hoping, you know, kind of uh, you know, new prospecting, but we'll see how that goes. So Eloy Jimenez, Gem Mint 10, Tops Holiday. Like the design here, they did get a little, um, I guess, cheap using the same picture. But we'll replace the Jimenez with the Jimenez. He was really hot when I started to do this. Um, Austin Riley, Gem Mint 10. Not sure that one's going to pan out as a profitable uh, grade, but hopefully he starts well. Obviously, it's a 10, so it's better than taking a risk on someone and having to come back a 9. Pete Alonso. Mint 9. This is the SP. The lights on the bat. Mint 9. Can't really tell off the jump. Maybe centering slightly there. And there's a tiny white corner on the back. That's usually where I, centering or the back, I'm really good, I think, on the front of cards. And sometimes I just get a little too overzealous and kind of some might miss the back sometimes. But it happens. Tatis Jr., Gem Mint 10. This is an SP with the garland in the background. Got another Tatis coming up. Mint nine. And now I see it and I, I can't imagine with that corner I would have sent this. So I don't know if something got happened when it got out and the bottom one too. Unless I just made a flat out mistake. But what are you gonna do? So another Tatis Jr. This one's a Gem Mint 10. Tatis Jr. From Holiday. Mint 9. This one doesn't have... Oh, yeah, another corner. I don't understand. I mean, it could have gotten dinged. But I wouldn't have sent that if I had seen it. I don't know if I was rushing or not. So, Vlad Jr., his first appearance. Update. Gold. I'm really worried about this card. Yeah, mint 9. I had a feeling this card was going to mint, it was going to go a 9, but I wanted to send it just because it was the gold parallel. So I'm about 50-50 right now. This is Eloy Jimenez, gold. Gem Mint 10, it's the rookie debut. Alonzo, Series 2 rookie, Gem Mint 10, Tatis Jr. Chrome, Refractor, Mint 10, I like that, that's nice, it's probably, my, if he goes off that could be a, a very nice card right there. Now, obviously, I think the chromes are easier to grade 
you don't have as much whitening on corners. Uh, they hold up better when you put them in um, sleeves and cases and things like that. But the values in the update, regular. Uh, Alonzo Chrome. Base Rookie, Gem Mint 10. Leave that off for a second. So this is one of the update 1984 Chrome Parallels of Vlad Jr. Gem Mint 10. Those X-Fractors just, or Mega Refractors, whatever they call them, just pop. I do have a bunch of 2019 Bowman Megas that I had uh, created last time. So, I do like the look. This is the regular Topps Chrome Vlad Prism Refractor. PSA 10. That's a pretty looking card too. Okay, nice little run. Another Vlad, another Chrome. Another Prism Gen Mint 10. Alright. Doing pretty good with Vlad. Missed on the gold. Another chrome Vlad. Pink. Gem Mint 10. Okay. So now it looks like I'm going to be a pretty big Vlad fan, even though I get to play against my Orioles 19 times in a regular season. I didn't have a lot of his graded stuff. A lot of his ungraded stuff, but... See another chrome Vlad. Not sure if this is a parallel. Another pink. Another 10. A little matrix stuff in the background there. Cool cards. Pretty cards. Broken record Vlad Jr. This is the base chrome rookie. That is a gem 10. Very cool looking card. I'm gonna leave the two refractors back there. And then the last one of this box is another chrome. Gem Mint 10. Apparently I need to stick with chrome from a grading standpoint. Because as it stands, paper, nine, paper, nine, paper, nine, paper, nine, paper, nine, Nine. Oh, there's a ten hiding in there. So my chromes are coming back tens. And all my papers are coming back nines. Except for the basketball. But so baseball chrome. Okay. That's where that's my bread and butter, it seems like. Now the last box, 52 total cards. Last box here. Whatever that is. Let's see, this is the back. Shocking, I have some more Vladimir Guerrero Chrome. But just one, it looks like. And that is a nine, so I, I jinxed myself, right? So I'm good at Chrome. So I got a nine. So comparing, eh, it's hard to compare the two in the light. I'll have to change it. Maybe centering here. Okay. Well, it was a nice run. It's a pretty deep run. And this one, it was interesting to me. This is a Michael Kopech Gold. I believe this is an auto out of 50. I put it in here because it's the auto. Um, really not sure. Nice. Gem Mint 10. Now, I've heard about this kid for, it seems like 10 years. Um, everyone says he's going to be good. I now hope so. I was looking to sell that early on, and I wasn't getting a whole lot of money for it. Obviously, I mean, it's just a rookie uh, refractor for him. You know, it's not like a Bowman Chrome first or anything like that. So, it wasn't a lot of high dollar interest. So, I just said, you know, I'll grade it and see what happens. So, I think this might be a lot of Eloy Jimenez. I think he's the other one that I had a lot that could grade well. Um, this is a refractor of some sort. This is his regular Chrome. 
Gem Mint 10 refractor. This is also a refractor. It's really hard to see in there. They could have chosen a different color for the word, but this is the purple refractor. This is out of, this is mislabeled. This is a pink refractor. Yeah, I don't know what to do here because the purple are out of 250, the pink. So this is a pink. There's no difference in the two of them. So I don't know what to do. I'll have to reach out. If anyone knows, comment below. But it's a 10, so that's, that's good. This is a refractor autograph. I forgot I had this. Fray Loy Jimenez. We'll see. Nice, Jim and 10. I know Beckett does the grades of the autograph. This one would not have graded a 10, so I wouldn't have even sent it to them, but I just chose not to grade the autograph. I prefer PSA, I just do. Um, I know the subgrades are cool on Beckett, so you kind of know where you miss. I think they're good for reference points um, to see how things get impacted, but I just, uh, PSA, Gem Mint 10. Like, um, is good to me. It's good in the marketplace. So right now that's kind of where I'm going. I have a Beckett Vlad, but I got that from someone uh, graded. So um, Carter Keyboom out of Topps Chrome is 150, so this should be blue. Gem Mint 10. I'm outside of DC, so hopefully you can have a, a good start and I can find that place, that one a new home. So Nick Senzel out of Chrome, out of 175. Um, so that is purple. It's Chrome update. This is his rookie debut. But that is a Gem Mint 10. Pete Alonzo, this was the all-star game, so it's not the true rookie from Update Chrome for him. But it is gold, it is out of 50, and it is a Gem Mint 10. I had some good luck with Alonzo. I got a couple blues that I didn't send. Um, I think the centering was just off a little bit. I got a, a lot of numbered color out of him. I think I got more overall refractors out of Vlad. But Eloy Jimenez, back to him. Chrome refractor out of 199. It's the X Fractor, Gem Mint 10. Nice looking cards. I do like Chrome. So we've got about 10 cards left. Pete Alonzo regular chrome. This is the pink refractor. Gem Mint 10. I'm gonna leave that gold up there. It's just kind of sexy looking. Vlad Guerrero, this is chrome update. Dropped it, pink. Gem Mint 10, that is a rookie debut. So, Kevin Biggio, one of the, I guess, the three amigos, the three sons of um, professional baseball players up there. Two Hall of Famer sons, Biggio and Guerrero, making big splash. That's the pink. I went with it because it is the pink. I don't think I sent a regular of his. Um... I mean, I just think he's going to be overshadowed by Bo Bichette and Guerrero Jr. I think he'd probably be a solid player. But the other two are just huge names. So Tatis Jr., this is a debut. Gem Mint 10, regular update. 
Vlad Jr. This is a different chrome version from Update, which I'm intended is his base chrome. So they have the rookie, they all have the rookie logo, but the rookie debuts obviously are lesser desired. So Keston Hira, which I meant 10. I think he's going to be solid. He's going to have a long career. A bunch of all-star games. Might not have the flash of the Vlad. But. So Pete Alonso, we're down to four. Update Chrome, which I'm in 10. Got three more. So they are all Pete Alonso. So Gem Mint 10. Gem Mint 10. And last one. Gem Mint 10. So that last box, aside from the Vlad, was all Gem 10s. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I had 10 not Gem out of 52. So... About 81% Gem Mint 10s. And a bunch of P a couple of PSA 9s and an 8. Um, big fan. Happy with the numbers, I guess. You know, obviously I'd prefer 90%, but they can't all be perfect. So that's why I try whenever possible if I'm looking at cards from a collection or something like that. If the card itself um, sells decent, and a PSA 9 is maybe a $10 increase. I'll go, I'll take the risk and try to grade it because a PSA 10 obviously is going to sell more. Perfect example, like a 1992 FLIR update, Mike Piazza. Um, base card sells for 40 I think the PSA 9 sells for like 50 or 60 And I just sold a PSA 10 that I sent in for 220 So... Uh, looking at the opportunities to kind of take that risk or reward. These guys, obviously, just a way for me to, um, to prospect for this year. So if you like what you see, please uh, like the YouTube channel. Uh, this is, again, very early on in my YouTube life, but uh, not early on in baseball cards. Um, you know, subscribe. I'm going to try to put out maybe one or two videos a week doing different things, the stuff that I find. Links below will be for Facebook. Um, for my own page on Facebook and for uh, my eBay store. Um, and if you know anyone that you think um, you might like to see more about baseball cards, um, you know, send them my way. Love to uh, have more people involved and I uh, can't wait to uh, be able to do this again. Thanks a lot and have a good night.